Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I'm Tanvi Taneja with the midday news. The headlines. RBI announces bi-monthly monetary policy, reduces repo rate by 25 basis points to 6.25%. Robert Vadra and Karthi Chidambaram appear before the Enforcement Directorate in separate money laundering cases. Rajya Sabha adjourned till 2 p.m. following continued protests by opposition parties over changes in faculty reservation in higher educational institutions. Supreme Court orders transfer of Muzaffarpur Shelter Home sexual assault case to a Delhi court. Ten Nakshals killed in an encounter with security forces at Bijapur in Chhattisgarh. And in tennis, top seed Pragnesh Guneshwaran to face compatriot Arjun Khade in the pre quarter finals of the ATP Chennai Open Challenger Tournament. The Monetary Policy Committee, MPC, headed by the Reserve Bank of India Governor Shaktikant Das, today announced reduction in policy repo rate by 25 basis points from 6.5% to 6.25% with immediate effect. In a press conference in Mumbai this afternoon, RBI Governor said an economic growth rate of 7.4% for the next fiscal has been projected. The Governor said, GDP growth for 2019-20 is projected at 7.4% in the range of 7.2 to 7.4% in H1 and 7.5% in Q3 with risks evenly balanced. It is noteworthy that the path of inflation has moved downwards significantly and over the period of next one year, headline inflation is expected to remain contained below or at its target of 4%. The bank has decided to remove restrictions on foreign portfolio investors who invest in the corporate debt market and hike the limit of collateral free agricultural loans to 1.6 lakh rupees from 1 lakh rupees to help small and marginal farmers. The central bank had also constituted a working group to review the agricultural credit. Our Mumbai correspondent has more. Consequently, the reverse repo rate stands adjusted to 6.0%. The bank also projected an economic growth rate of 7.4% for the next fiscal, up from 7.2% estimated for the current fiscal. RBI's announcement is expected to reduce the rate of interest on home loans, personal loans and car loans and provide some relief to citizens. This is the first policy review post the appointment of RBI Governor Shakti Kantidas and also the first post the interim budget. The next meeting of the MPC is scheduled from April 2 to 4, 2019. Madhuri Pange, AIR News, Mumbai. Businessman Robert Vadra appeared before the Enforcement Directorate for the second day today in a money laundering case probe. His questioning is currently underway. The agency had questioned him yesterday as well. This is the first time that Vadra is appearing before any probe agency in connection with the alleged dubious financial dealings. The ED case against Vadra relates to allegations of money laundering in the purchase of a London-based property worth £1.9 million. His statement will be recorded under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Son of former Finance Minister P. Chidambaram, Karthi Chidambaram, today appeared before the Enforcement Directorate ED in connection with the INX Media case. Karthi was summoned by the agency. The ED has questioned Karthi on several occasions in the case, which is being probed by the agency and the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI. Both are probing how the Foreign Investment Promotion Board, FIPB, gave clearance to foreign investment in the INX media in 2007 when P. Chidambaram was the finance minister. On February last year, Karthi was arrested by the CBI for allegedly accepting money to facilitate the FIPB clearance to the INX media. He was later granted bail. 
The Rajya Sabha has been adjourned till 2 p.m. following continued protests by SP, BSP, RJD, Left and other parties over changes in the faculty recruitment system in colleges and universities. These parties raised the issue during the zero hour, demanding that the government bring in a bill to restore the previous 200-point roster system for recruitment to safeguard reservation for SCs, STs and OBCs in higher educational institutions. The House held a brief discussion on the matter with Ram Gopal Yadav of Samajwadi Party saying, The new 13-point roster system adversely affects the interests of SCs, STs and OBCs. He demanded that a bill should be brought in immediately to restore the earlier reservation system. Responding to the members, Human Resource Development Minister Prakash Javrekar reiterated the government's commitment for reservation and asserted that it will not allow any changes in the quota system. Mr. Javrekar said, I have the HRD minister said the centre is taking legal opinion so that the stay on the UGC circular related to filling of vacancies is lifted. The minister clarified that the 13-point roster system has come into being because of the court's order and not the government's action. Dissatisfied with the minister's reply, members from SP, BSP and RJD raised slogans forcing adjournment of the House till 2 o'clock. The Lok Sabha is now discussing the motion of thanks to the President's address to the joint sitting of Parliament. Participating in it, Congress leader Malikarjun Kharge said, Unemployment is on the rise and accused the government of not fulfilling the promises made in this regard. Mr. Kharge referred to the vacancies in different central ministries, universities and other sectors. He also questioned the government's decision on demonetization of high-value currency notes and the GST. He alleged that the demonetization has failed to achieve its purpose of curbing black money and terrorism as claimed by the government. Mr. Kharge also raised the issue of Rafael aircraft deal and reiterated his party's demand to set up a joint parliamentary committee to probe it. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is likely to reply to the discussion later in the day. The government today reiterated that the role of Prasar Bharti is not revenue generation but to serve the people of the country. Replying to supplementaries in the Lok Sabha, Information and Broadcasting Minister Colonel Rajyavardhan Rathore said the mandate of the Prasar Bharti is to keep the traditions and culture alive as private channels do not show many things due to commercial reasons. Colonel Rathore informed the House that All India Radio reaches 99.2% of the total population of the country. He said, भारत का 99 प्रतिशत से ऊपर जो आबादी है उसको रेडियो के सिग्नल्स पूरा कवर करते हैं साथ में टेलीविजन के सिग्नल्स जो अब हैं वो डायरेक्ट टू होम ट्रांसमिशन के माध्यम से पूरे भारत का एरिया कवर करते हैं सेट टॉप बॉक्स के अंदर कुछ एक चैनल्स ऐसी भी हैं जिसमें आप रेडियो को सुन सकते हैं बदलती टेक्नोलॉजी को ध्यान में रखते हुए ऑल इंडिया रेडियो के जो चैनल्स हैं उसको हमने इंटरनेट पर भी प्रोवाइड करा है तो किसी के पास जो कोई फोन हो तो उसके ऊपर मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन डाउनलोड करके रेडियो के कार्यक्रम सुन सकते हैं this is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. You can also log on to our website, news on AIR.nic.in. Namaskar, I am Nitin Gadkari. I am talking about our UAPD in the past few years. But this UAPD, when the UAPD is on the road for overspeeding, हादसों का शिकार होती है तो इसका नुकसान देश को भुगतना पड़ता है अगर आप देश के लिए कुछ करना चाहते हो तो सबसे पहले ट्रैफिक नियमों का पालन कर खुद को हादसों से सुरक्षित करिए जय हिंद घर घर में शौचालय खुला 
अब खुले में जाना बंद रखो दरवाजा बंद और याद रहे शौचालय का इस्तेमाल और देख रहे हर कोई हर रोज हमेशा स्वच्छ भारत एक कदम स्वच्छता की ओर पेयजल एवं स्वच्छता मंत्रालय द्वारा जनहित में जारी दरवाजा बंद तो बीमारी बंद वेलकम बैक यूर लिस्निंग टू द मिड डे न्यूज In news just in, the Rajya Sabha has been adjourned for the day after it reassembled at 2 p.m. In Chhattisgarh, security forces have killed at least 10 Naxals in an encounter at Bijapur district today. Police said the encounter took place around 11 a.m. in a forest near Bhairamgarh police station area. Bijapur superintendent of police Mohit Garg told AIR that bodies of 10 Naxals along with 11 weapons have been recovered from the spot. मुझसे तो बड़ी सफलता है पुलिस के लिए ये इसमें डीआरजी और एसटीएफ की संयुक्त टीम ऑपरेशन में थी 10 मसल ऑलरेडी मारे जा चुके हैं और 11 वेपन हम लोगों को मिल चुके हैं अभी भी पार्टी सर्चिंग कर रही है ये माड़ इलाके में ऑपरेशन हुआ था मेन्द्रावती नदी के दूसरे छोर पर और उनका जो कोर हाइड आउट एरिया है जहाँ पे वो लोग एकदम निसंकोच होकर रहते हैं वहाँ पे पार्टी ने किया और निश्चिंत की बड़ी सफलता है The Supreme Court today ordered the transfer of the Muzaffarpur Shelter Home sexual assault case from Bihar to a court in New Delhi. A bench headed by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi said the cases should be transferred from the Bihar CBI court to a POCSO, Protection of Children from Sexual Offences, Saket Trial Court in the national capital within two weeks. It ordered the Saket Trial Court to conclude the trial within six months. You're listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. Yaar, aaj main bahut khush hoon. Tujhe ek good news deni hai. Kya hua? Yaar, mera ek dream tha na. Apne khud ke ghar ka, jis mein ho ek balcony aur jahan khade ho ke sukoon se chai peete hoye acha view mile. Bada sa bedroom, living room, etc, etc. Matlab, jahan life happening bhi ho aur secured bhi. Wo ab pura ho gaya hai. Kya baat kar rhi hai? Lekin ye dream pura hua kaise? Loan le kar. Loan le kar. मगर लोन पर तो काफी ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट होगा ना नहीं यार ज्यादा नहीं है वो कैसे अरे प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना शहरी की क्रेडिट लिंक सब्सिडी स्कीम के बारे में नहीं सुना इंटरेस्ट पर अच्छी खासी सब्सिडी मिलती है जिससे हम हर महीने की ईएमआई में करीब करीब पच्चीस सौ रूपए तक की बचत कर सकते हैं जो की बीस साल के लोन में लगभग छह लाख की सेविंग हो जाती है लगभग छह लाख की सेविंग जी हाँ सही सुना आपने प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना शहरी की क्रेडिट लिंक सब्सिडी स्कीम के अंतर्गत इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी से मासिक किश्त तकरीबन पच्चीस सौ रूपए तक कम हो जाती है जिसका लाभ 20 साल के लोन पर लगभग 6 लाख हो सकता है 18 लाख या उससे कम वार्षिक आय वाले इस योजना का लाभ उठा सकते हैं अधिक जानकारी के लिए अपने नजदीकी बैंक शाखा में संपर्क करें हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल सबके लिए घर ये हमारा सपना भी है और संकल्प भी है Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that India Bangladesh relations have been on an upward trajectory in the last few years. Interacting with Foreign Affairs Minister of Bangladesh Dr AK Abdul Momin who called on him at his official residence today, Mr Modi reaffirmed India's commitment to work with Bangladesh to build on this momentum during the new term in the office of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Dr Momin briefed the Prime Minister on recent developments in the bilateral relationship. The Bangladesh Foreign Minister arrived in New Delhi last night on a four-day visit to India. Dr Momin will attend the 5th India-Bangladesh Joint Consultative Committee meeting tomorrow. In tennis, top seed Pragnesh Guneshwaran is to face compatriot Arjun Khade in the pre-quarterfinals of the ATP Chennai Open Challenger Tournament today. Yesterday, four Indians led by Pragnesh Guneshwaran had stormed into the singles pre-quarter finals of the ATP Chennai Open Challenger Tournament. In the second round, Pragnesh, who is the top seed, defeated Daniel Altmaier of Germany in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. 11-seeded Saket Maineni beat compatriot Vijay Sundar Prashant. Arjun Khade beat 13th seed Jose Fernandez of the Dominic Republic. And now, before we end the bulletin, Here are the headlines once again. RBI announces bi-monthly monetary policy, reduces repo rate by 25 basis points to 6.25%. Robert Vadra and Karthi Chidambaram appear before the Enforcement Directorate in separate money laundering cases. Rajya Sabha adjourned for the day following continued protests by opposition parties over changes in faculty reservation in higher educational institutions. 
Supreme Court orders transfer of Muzaffarpur shelter home sexual assault case to a Delhi court. Ten Nakshals killed in an encounter with security forces at Bijapur in Chhattisgarh. And in tennis, top seed Pragnesh Guneshwaran to face compatriot Arjun Khare in the pre quarter finals of the ATP Chennai Open Challenger tournament. And with that, we end the midday news.